princess and yes I am on the floor this is an exciting day because today I've gotten my roller skates um, these are what I've been waiting for and I'm on the floor because straight away I'm gonna put them on and I'm gonna head out but we'll also talk about a few other accessories I've picked up along the way so here goes these are the Kaya Melrose Elite in Dusty Rose, and I ordered them from Eastern Skating Supply. They are available on Amazon as well, but they're a little more expensive, even though it comes from the same company. So, you know, availability of stock issue also. If you're looking for skates, come to find out. I am interested in the Moxie Lollies, and also, honestly, I might even just skip over to the Jack Boots, but nothing yet. I've started with these and I also ordered a pair of Sure Grip Boardwalks. And so those are still in route. They probably won't come until next month. Again, availability. So here's the box. Yay! Let's see what this says. It's taped on there. Okay. Eastern Skating Supply, blah, blah. Skates, toe stops. I did buy an extra set of toe stops and return instructions. Hopefully they fit. I'm really nervous about that because, you know, I don't have a skate shop near me, so I had to order online. So here's the box itself. It says, Kaya, it's time. Um, yeah, yay, I'm super excited. Okay, let's see. Okay, oh, so the toe stops, I bought the Kaya, uh, wait, what are they called? Uh, ch cherry bomb, whatever, but these are the natural color because that was they, that was the one they had available. It didn't have my matching color. So these are backups because I'm sure I will wear out the toe stops pretty short order. But nice that they come in a little a little case to hold them. So that's pretty cool. So I got extra toe stops. Um, yay, the skates. Look, they each have their own dust bag. That is so cool. Let's see what else is in the box. Kaya, it's time. Is this instructions or warranty or some kind of liability waiver? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it just talks about the hardware and whatnot. Okay, so for later. It also comes with a skate tool. This looks like an Allen wrench. So a simple Allen wrench. I did buy some other tools though, so we'll set that aside for now. Okay, so we don't need the box anymore. Let's look at the skate, dun, 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 dun. Dusty Rose. Okay, so it's a pink and mint green. Um, honestly, I, I'm a purple fanatic. Pink is not generally my number one choice, but I thought this would be a great starting point um, because out of the choices available, it's the one I liked. <laughs> it does come with these same type of toe stops, the Kaya um, Cherry Bombs, I think they're called but it is adjustable, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. I am not a skate expert. To be clear, <laughs> it's been decades, but I need to get fit, and so I thought this would be a great and fun way to do it. And we do have a roller rink here in town, so I can go indoor skate, yeah. So, uh, let me pull this tag off the side because I don't need the QC sticker on my heel. And I'm gonna have to get some gooby gone to get that off but so there it is the skate this is the right foot um, these are all just first impressions it is a um, plastic heel and the plate is nylon composite i think it's got some extra stuff in there to strengthen it like fiberglass or something i don't know um, the the trucks are metal and wait are they no they're not the bolts are, but the wheels are nice. These are Kaya Mellow 62 millimeter 78A. That's an outdoor wheel. I've learned that much. So that's where I'm going to start with these is outdoor. I did go on Amazon and I bought some indoor wheels as well so that I can go to the indoors and have more appropriate wheels for that. But let's see. Okay. It came with these light colored laces. But I thought, you know, wouldn't it be cool to match them up a little better? So 
before we even go on to the other skate, let's talk about the other things I got. Um, first thing I got, and I got them on Amazon because that's where I found them at the best price and color. Hi, Kelly. Hey, what's this? Huh? Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I got some toe guards, and I got these. These are, um, they're not called mint green. They're called something else, but I thought... They didn't have the pink one available, but I thought that would be a nice contrast to match up the wheels. And so I'm gonna put those on. And also I got laces in that same type of color, or close. And I think these are called honeydew, but they're more of that mint color. So they kind of match close enough anyways. So I thought that would be fun to really dress up the skate. And I also bought um, some skate tools. These came as a kit, two parts. Well, it's actually four parts, but you got the T-shaped one and the Y one. They both have an Allen wrench like in there as well. This one's a screwdriver and a small, interesting. And what is this one? This one is the same, but you can see it on there. It has like a Phillips head. Yeah, so these are some options for adjusting things. And it looks like I'm going to need this for sure because those other ends are different. And what I need that for sure is for adjusting the toe stop. And actually, we'll do that in just a moment. So I also got a strap so I can carry my skates. This is a Moxie roller skate strap. Hey, Kelly. So you just put the end around it. It's kind of like a yoga mat strap, if you're familiar. So it's just like a lasso end. You put it on the skates and then it keeps itself tight by weight. You don't need that right now. And then I, I, this is not new. Well, it's never been used by me, but I bought this new tags from Vera Bradley. This is the rolling backpack. So I thought this would make an excellent skate bag because it is in fact a backpack. And um, it's light enough material, so it's water resistant and very wipeable, very durable, but it's also a backpack. So the straps just tuck right in. And so I can use it as a backpack as well. Anyway, so before I even do all that, I also have a, a luggage tag and a matching coordinating pattern. So we'll put that on there because you don't want to lose your bag. Not that I'll leave it behind at the rink or anything. Okay, but let's just see if the skates even fit. So before we even dress them up, let's do that. This is all out of order, but I'm just so excited. Okay, a lot of stuffing in here. Actually, <laughs> it was still in the box. So there are two pockets. I can actually store, well, there's more than two pockets, but there's two main pockets here. Take the tag off, you don't need that. So there's small pockets up front for the tools, there's water bottle pockets on the side. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of packing. Okay, the skates are pretty bulky as you can see. So let's see, I think they'll still fit nicely inside of here, maybe. They do, or at least that one. Let's see. This has this other sleeve here as well for all the tools. And, yep, yay, this is gonna be perfect. This is my skate bag. Okay, so I get to use my Vera. I got a perfect accessory. And uh, yeah, although I don't think it would fit two pairs of skates. It might, if I put two in one compartment. Mm, I don't think that will fit, that's okay. But I do have a second pair of skates coming, as I said, so, uh, yeah. Well, one can go in the strap and one can go in the bag. Or I can use the trolley sleeve and put the second one on top if, if I need to take a bunch of stuff. But anyway, okay. So let's, first off, before I change everything out, let's see if they fit. So I'll take off my Crocs and put this sucker on. Uh, you probably don't need the tag on it either, but let's see. Get all the stuffing out. All right. Yay! These 
fan, please. But it has a nice pull tab on the back. I don't know if you can see that, but great way to get your toe in. And they do fit. They fit very nicely, actually. And we'll see if there's any hot spots later, but wow. Okay. So that's awesome. Yay, I'm going skating. Okay, so the wheels. Make sure they free spin. This one isn't spinning so freely, so I need to adjust that one and that one. So two of them need to be adjusted just a little bit. And we'll figure that out in a moment. Let's check the other skates. This is so exciting. Okay. And sometimes your feet are different sizes, so I am going to actually check both skates. Oh, easily. Yes. And they're not super huge on me either. They are just the right size. And these have a lot of padding, so I think that as they wear in slightly, that'll change the fit a little bit and I'll wear thicker socks. These are medium thickness that I have on right now. And these are not free spinning so much. I do need to loosen them just a little bit. Yeah, again, one side better, better than the other. Okay, we'll worry about the wheels in a minute. First, let's dress them up. So exciting. All right, so what I'm looking at here, because I am not an expert, and I figure the people that make them know things. So I'm looking at the way that they have it laced, and it looks like outer to inner. Okay, um, yeah, and then I'm just gonna take it straight out. Outer to inner. Um, I have been watching a lot of YouTube videos by um, skaters, people who skate all the time, who've been skating a long time, people who skate professionally, everything from derby to skate parks to, you know, recreational, indoor, outdoor. Yeah, I've been watching a lot of stuff. I'm really getting psyched up motivation and, and uh, you know, okay, so story time. As I'm lacing this, I'll tell you. Um, the story of a poor girl. <laughs> um, yeah, so I grew up po, P-O, po, couldn't afford the O-R, that's what I say. Um, and so also it was a long time ago. I mean, I'll be 50 this year, so I'm old. <laughs> but never too old to try new things or retry old things or whatever. But um, when I was growing up and I had no money and also it was a long time ago, that was back when they had... Do you remember metal wheels on your roller skates? Like, I had those. That was the best we could do, and that was all there was, and whatever. Um, and the boots weren't that great of quality. I couldn't tell you much about the boots because it was a, it just was what it was. Um, but then one time, um, as I was in elementary school, I remember very vividly, like our big exciting shopping thing was going down to the Goodwill, or not necessarily the Goodwill by brand, but the thrift store, and that was like our big, that was the only way we could get name brand stuff or nice stuff because we had no money. I mean, our back to school shopping was there. And that, by the way, side story is why I get so upset with resellers and flippers who go to those stores and pull out anything that's remotely valuable and sell it off for jacked up prices because you have now triple screwed the people that could have not otherwise gotten those items. I lived it and I, it means so much to me not to screw your fellow human being. So side note there, there's a greed and integrity thing which matters, but anyways. My story is this. I one time found a pair of skates at the Goodwill and it was uh, a splurge thing. They were super cheap, but they were nice pair of skates with good gummy wheels on them and they were white with orange wheels, I remember. And they fit, they were, they were just my size, but I was still growing. And I wore those skates everywhere. I, I skated to school and I, I, yeah, I had, I had wheels on my feet all the time. And I way outgrew those, but I crammed my feet into those and I wore them and wore them and wore them until I just could not anymore. And uh, yeah, so I got my money's worth out of those for sure. And this is my first pair of skates since, and that has been, Oh my gosh, we're talking like 40 years ago? No, I graduated elementary school in 86, so it's been that long at least, yeah. So this is super, super 
um, exciting. <laughs> I have rollerbladed since then. I will, I will say that. I have a really nice pair of rollerblades. Um, I did put them on the other day, but oh my gosh, they hurt my feet so bad all of a sudden. I've had those same skates for like 20 years and they've been great. I've skated freaking marathons in them, literally, in Germany, up and down the hills. It was crazy. Uh, but anyway, uh, I prefer roller skates, I'll be honest. There is a difference and especially when I'm more out of shape and my ankles are less stable, roller skates I think is going to be my better option. So that's all my logic there. Yeah, so this does match really nicely. But on the, the listings that I have seen, I didn't actually see this color. So I obviously they make them. I had to find out how to replace them in that color. Uh, Till guard. So that's why I had to take that off so I can put this toe guard on there. I need two hands. And I am so excited. I can't get this done fast enough because I just want to go outside and get rolling. Um, let's see. I have heard that you should have like four fingers height. So I think that'll be a good height to start with. Oh, this is going to be so cool. So let's put it through here first. Yay. Sorry, you guys got to suffer through this slow part while I lace them up. Uh, I will try, uh, I don't have superior editing skills, but I'll try and fast forward through this part a little bit for you since we finished the story time already. Um, but this is very exciting. I did, by the way, if you haven't watched my other videos this week, I did go skating on Sunday at the roller rink. I, I was on rentals because obviously I didn't have skates. And they were fine. They fit fine. They, they were very slick. They felt slick to me. And they're not quite low top but they're not the full boot so that was something that i was definitely not accustomed to so i kind of struggled a little bit with all of that um but i i it went fine i was it hurt my feet a lot i think that's just using muscles that have been long forgotten so yeah that will require some uh adaptation some um, practice to build up, you know, some endurance and some strength. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to go in the same side first or straight away cross. I'm going to go on the same side first. So, try and keep my laces straight here. I will show you what I'm doing once I get this started. Okay, so I think, I think that's how it goes to start. So if you know and I did that wrong, please let me know. I'm sure it will work anyways. But So these toe guards that I got are from Bont, B-O-N-T, Bont. I got them on Amazon, like I said, but they are leather. And they're from Australia. But like I said, Amazon. So they actually were the first thing to arrive was the skates and, I mean, the toe guards and laces. I hadn't even ordered the skates yet, but I was determined <laughs> I was going to get them. Thank God that worked out. Uh, but anyways, the leather toe guard, because they really want to protect these. Are, um, these are vegan boots, so I want to protect the, the materials. Okay, so I'm going to go one, one lace all the way up. I don't know if you can see this, but we'll start with the first one. And I'm going outside in, and then it's, hi, Kelly. Hi. Mwah. I don't think you want my skates. Then I want to skip a loop. I'll show you at the end here in a sec. Yeah, are you helping? You're such a big help. You are. What's going on? Well, is mama messing with something on the floor? Am I down in her space? I have her dog hair all over my pants because we're messing around and she's shedding and black pants with white dog hair. Magical love fibers everywhere. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just skipping a hole as I cross over and I'm just doing one side all the way up. And I'm going outside to in since that's how they were laced already. Maybe that's, there are a lot of different ways to, to lace your skates depending on your shoe type or foot type and fit and yeah. It's, it's not really cosmic, but you can 
help yourself out with different things. I'm pretty simple. I think this will work just fine. These laces, by the way, seem like they're a lot longer than the laces it came with, but I'm okay with that. They better have them too long than too short. So I've laced the one all the way up, alternating, and now I'm just filling in the other side all the way up. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to keep the laces flat, at least at the beginning. Obviously that will change over time, but it looks cool to start out with, all fresh and crisp and aligned. A little OCD action there, perhaps. Or CDO, as I like to say, because that's alphabetical order. <laughs> Silly. All right. Almost done. Yay. And last one. Okay. So, skates are laced up. Ta-da. That looks really cool. I'm so happy with the colors. So we've got the, the mint, which I really need to pull that, cinch that down. Um, but yeah, doesn't that look nice? Super cool. Yeah, okay, let's do number two. And now we can take this off. Precision bearings, be wicked, wickedhardware.com. Okay, cool, cool. Kayak controller toe stops. Yeah, we got that, okay. All right. This is out. So the laces I got are, what did I say? They're like derby laces. They are a little more robust, so that's good. I think these are a little thinner. They feel like similar material, but different thickness. And I do think they're different length. Oh, get out. Okay. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so they are a fair amount longer, but I think that'll be great. Okay. So, laces. I will keep those as spare. You never know when you're going to break one later. So, where's my Allen wrench? There it is. Get my toe stop off. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, speaking of which, did I tighten that other one back up? These are the long stem toe stops, by the way. They do come in a shorter version, so when you're more advanced and you maybe want your toe stop higher up, like for dancing or maneuvering or whatever, that is an option. Did I tighten this back up? Oh, I hope so, because now it's hard to access. Crap. No, good thing we talked. All right, so that's tightened back up. I don't want to lose those. That would suck. Toe vibe. Okay. For the record, I do not plan to go do a bunch of skate park skating. That's uh, just not my jam. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that maybe never, but if, one, we do have skate parks on the base actually or a skate park. Um, okay, so I think that'll be good. Let me tighten that up before I forget about it again. Uh, but yeah, but I just, you know, I'm too old to break anything. I don't really want to, uh, so it's a fear factor, I'll be honest. I just, I really, plus I'm trying to get in shape and recover from things and not create new problems. So <laughs> it's probably my best interest not to until I'm, Super comfortable, if ever. But I might find myself at the skate park just to try, like doing some ramps and pumping kind of thing, um, because that's a smooth rolling. I'm not gonna be like flying off of curves or you know jumping big obstacles or doing any flips or anything crazy. But if I get to that point eventually, in any case, 
I will share that journey with you along the way if you care to follow along. <laughs> but right now it's just going to be skating. Just skating. Frontwards, backwards, turning, stopping, grooving, you know, basic stuff. Um, trying to keep these even as I pull them in. Okay. Now I just lace it up. And I will turn around, actually. Get my crock out of the way. I'll turn around so maybe you can see better how I'm lacing it if you care to. through my big butt. All right. Gotta stitch that down a little better than last time. I'm just keeping them nice and loose as I'm lacing right now because I want to be able to put them on and then tighten them up once I get them on. Yay! There's only one first day on new skates. This is it. Woohoo! Okay. So I'll do the other side. Oops, that one got twisted. this and done so all laced up uh, pretty 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 so you can see it up a little closer I know the light is kind of bright up there but, but all laced up and before I try and skate on them let me loosen up so these will free spin they're nice and tight Okay, so it's a fine balance between free spinning, like that was really nice, and tightness. So that jiggles a little, so I need to put, tighten it back down a little. But... Okay, so it still free spins. You can see that, but it's not, there's no jiggle. And they're not perfectly even, but they're pretty close. Okay, so those are good. Let's set up these ones. Okay, those need to get a little bit looser. And, okay, that one has a little jiggle. And this is not intuitive. Like to me, I always think like things need to be always tight, but, but you want it to have some, and so it's a fine balance. And it's, it's not difficult to figure it out. Like, can you hear that? That's the jiggle I'm talking about. You want to take that out. But you still want to have free spin. Let me loosen that just a tad. Uh, me... So a little ups and little downs. Okay. No jiggle. So one. I think they're good. Let's put them on. Okay. All the tools, all the boxes, all the shoes, everything out of the way. 
scissors. Because I don't need any tripping hazards. Okay. Let's put the skates on. I already have dog hair in them. <laughs> Kelly goes everywhere with me. She's not going outside on this first trip out because I don't need any more hazards than necessary. <laughs> All right. So. Now, I'll get back to you when we go outside. <laughs>